Here we'll take a look at how percentages can be used to create discounts. Say the original price of an Xbox One is $420. If we apply a 15% discount to that, what's the new sale price going to be? The first thing you're going to say is 15% of what? Say that. Say 15% of what? Anytime I give you a percent, you're always going to say that. You're going to be like, 15% of what? And you're going to write it down. 15%, but you're not going to write what because you know what it's 15% of. You know it's 15% of that. So it's 15% of $420. Now, 15% is 15 over 100, which is decimal 15. You always need to convert it to a decimal format. We multiply because of means multiply. And we multiply by 420. We'll whip out our calculator. We'll write 0 decimal 15. We'll multiply that by 420. And that gets us 6 point, or what is that? 63. So we write a dollar sign beside it. Don't forget your units. We get $63. So that's got to be the answer, right? That's got to be the answer. No, it's not. You know why? Because that is the discount. And you know what discount means? Discount means it's getting cheaper. It's getting cheaper by $63. So that's not the new price. That's just how much cheaper it's getting. It starts at $420. And it gets cheaper by $63. Cheaper means the price is going down. We minus. We're going to punch that in or do it in your head. It's not incredibly difficult to do in your head. But to save energy, we'll write 300. We'll put it in our calculator and it will tell us it is $357 and that's going to be the new price. This right here is the sale price. Sale price. You might have recognized these pair of kicks. They're the new LeBron 12 shoes. If you're watching this in the future, these are probably old fashioned. But I'm going to make the math a little bit interesting here. I'm going to tell you the original price is $280. They're expensive shoes. Sportcheck, for whatever reason, decided to offer a sale. $220 is the new price. And I'd like you to figure out what the percentage discount is. Anytime you get a percentage, anytime you need to calculate a percentage, here we can't ask ourselves, percent of what? We can't say 40% of what, like we did in the last question, or 20% of what, or 15 We can't do that. We have to figure out the percent. How do you figure out percentages on your exam? Don't you have to divide two numbers and then multiply by 100? And the number on the top is how many you got right? Your score. And the number on the bottom is the total number of questions? It's no different here. The only exception is that we don't have a score. What we have is a discount. Whatever this word says is what goes on top. Discount. Let's erase that. Let's go like this. We'll go discount. So whatever that number says after the percentage, if it says percentage markup, you write markup. If it says percentage discount, you write discount. The total, well, what total are we dealing with? The total price. Now the total price is either going to be this or that. One of them is not going to be the right answer. One of them will be. If you're in doubt, you always go back to the original. The original price, what it started at, is what your total is. Always. You know why? Because this price over here didn't even exist yet until Sportcheck created it. So it didn't even exist yet. So why would we use something that didn't even exist yet? We are using the original. You divide, you multiply, you get your answer. Now how much is the discount? We don't even know what this number is yet. If it started at 280 and it went down to 220, isn't that a discount of $60? Because $280 minus $220 is $60.
the price went down $60. So what I will write is $60 divided by $280 times by 100. Look what that gets you. You're going to write 60 divided by 280. You get that, multiply by 100. And you get this number. There's a lot of decimal points, but don't let that scare you. We'll just have to round it, which is no big deal. We're going to round it to the nearest whole number. So look beside it. Is that 5 or bigger? No, it's not 5 or bigger. It's smaller than 5. So the 1 stays the same. And you get 21% discount.